Hi, we are going to uh, implement DFS algorithm. So first of all, let's do all the basic things. Uh, we got the three important libraries. This is for the C++ IO stream. This is because we are going to use the adjacency matrix. This is because we are going to use uh, some of the STL functionalities, maybe. Um, let's create a fun main function. And now the first thing is to know the number of edges because an adjacency matrix or let's say undirected graph will have to have um, edges, nodes and edges. So that will be N. So let's input this value N. So now what we are going to do is we have to input the matrix or the graph to input that matrix before that let us declare a uh, adjacency matrix this is a this is like a two dimensional vector it's more like a um, 2d array but uh, we are using vector because we can use some stl functionality to iterate etc and it's very easy to use so right now what we're going to do is for int i equals to zero so what we're going to do is we are going to um, input the uh, edges here inside this so we have n edges so what we are going to do here is um, so we need for every edge there are two values right for example uh, this is an edge so one to two this is an edge so one of the value is one other value is two so let's declare two uh, variables here x comma y so one of them is, uh, let's say one of them takes value of 1 and another one takes 2. So something like that. Then some other uh, other could be like 2, 2, 3 and then some other can be like 1, 2, 4. So these are some of the edges that we are going to insert. So now what we are going to do is uh, scene x, y. So we got the values of the edge. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to insert that into our adjacency matrix. So this dot push underscore back. This is a function of STL. So what we are going to do is now we are going to push this y. So this is x and this is y. So one comma two. So x will have value of y stored in its matrix. So if you can imagine two D matrix, right? X will be here and y can be here. So this is the where it is stored. So that is how it works. So we have created the uh, graph now. So after creating the graph, we have to traverse it using DFS. So what we are going to do is right now, we are going to take, let's say, we are assuming that one is the first node. So from here, we are going to uh, start the iteration. So I will create, a, I will call my function using the initial node one, which is my assumption that one is the starting point because I have to take some starting point to traverse, right? One, I am assuming is my first node to traverse. And I'll pass this adjacency matrix into that. Okay. So, DFS is my function. It has a value of A, which is a node, and an adjacency, adjacency matrix. So what we are going to do is we are, as we know the algorithm from previous uh, video, we need a boolean type uh, array which stores uh, the visited nodes because once we, once if the node is visited, we won't be visiting it again. So what we are going to do is here, we mark this uh, A, right? This is one, the first node as visited. This is our first step, visited of A equal to 2 so we visited this so now our, what we are going to do now we are marking we are pushing all its adjacent nodes to the stack so if this is this uh, if this is our graph 1 to 2 1 to 4 2 to 3 so oh, adjacent of 1 is 4 and 2 so I have to traverse over this and push this into the uh, stack right so what I'm going to do is here for int i equal to 0 i less than so this is my uh, 
in my matrix one is connected to two and four so this size of this will be two because uh, one is connected to two and one is connected to four so we have two values for this current first node so it's that's how it is going to work now oh, there is an another step we need to traverse only if it is not visited so we need that function uh, we need to check that if the nodes are already visited or not so what we are going to mark is if not visited of uh, adjoint uh, adjacency matrix a of i so this a of i right um, for let's say initial node 1 so for initial node 1 um, adjacency matrix a will be 1 and uh, i will be uh, i will be 0 so it will be uh, the value of this adjacent of a of i will be the value which is placed in um, a of i that is 2 this is the node so if this is not visited what we are going to do is we are going to call the stack call the function recursively using this um, using this as the value so so this is the node and we are going to uh, pass the adjacency matrix as well so what is going to happen is using this we call this dfs recursively so it means this is pushed into the stack then uh, what happens is then uh, this uh, function this gets as executed and this again gets it called and uh, the that, that node is marked as visited and its adjacent are going to be pushed so that's how it is going to work push pop push pop and finally what we are going to do now is we are going to print this because we need to know right how the algorithm displays like we need to know the result so let's print a so yeah i think this is our algorithm for dfs let's see what it outputs so this is my command prompt i have uh, using windows system so g plus plus minus o dfs one which is the file name so let's see if we have any compilation error i'm not coding in c plus plus since a while so i'm expecting that some I, I am expecting some errors definitely yes i have errors okay i think i am missing a square bracket that is here yes okay good i i guess i uh, missed only one let's see what happens now it's taking some time to compile that's good dfs1.exe okay so now i will input five nodes first edge is 1 comma 2 sorry i input five edges 1 comma 2 the second one is 2 comma 3 the third one is 1 comma uh, 1 comma 4 the fourth one is 1 comma 5 then finally let's say 3 comma 6 so this is our output 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can verify that 